But first at four, the Murdoch estate set to go to the highest bidder. The patriarch of the family, Alec, is in jail for the murders of his wife and son, with one remaining son caught up in a death investigation of his own. And now nearly everything the Murdochs built their empire around is up for sale. The estate sale for their Moselle property in Colton County st just started moments ago. Thanks for joining us here at 4 o'clock. I'm Andy Satowski. And I'm Brian Blakely. Buyers have come from all over to get a glimpse of what is being offered up by the auctioneers. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis, the only local reporter at the auction in Pembroke, Georgia, near Savannah. And Morgan, what have you seen so far? Brian, I've seen a lot of people. This started out when we got here around noon today with just a couple dozen people in a line outside the building, but that crowd has grown a lot since we uh, got here four hours ago. Um, you can see just a sea of people kind of crowding around the, the man up there in the red shirt. They just started this auction. Now, as a reminder, it's only been three weeks to the day that Alec Murdoch was convicted of killing his wife and son. Last week, the owner of Liberty Auction House was tasked with clearing out their Moselle home and bringing items here for the public to bid on. Many people I've spoken to today um, say that they have followed the trial. Some were at the trial and some told me that they drove hours just to get a glimpse into the Murdoch family's life and their belongings. Now, there are a few other estates that are being auctioned off here today. So the Murdoch family belongings aren't the only ones that are getting auctioned off, but their items are labeled 3-3 five more so for the owner to know what family to pay when these items sell we have seen decorative plates wall art hunting gear ammunition a crossbow but um, no guns which has been a question that I've gotten from a lot of members of the public something else that's missing are pillows seen in pictures online with Maggie Murdoch's initials on them here's what the owner of this auction house told me was the reason that she took them away the estate attorney called yesterday and said, take them out. So I had no choice but to take the pillows out. He, I, I don't know if it was all the attention that the pillows were getting, but he wasn't happy and he told me to pull them, so I did. So this is only one small section of this entire auction house. There are actually um, two big rooms here. So here's what they're going to do is they're going to start with everything in this room that's Murdoch stuff as well as other families um, belongings and then they're going to move to the next room the owner tells me that she doesn't expect it to take any longer than any other estate sale that she has which she believes is going to wrap up around 9 30 tonight but I can tell you that there are a lot of people here it's quite the spectacle in the madhouse a lot of people followed this trial online or in came in person to watch some of it and uh, they just want to get a glimpse into into this family and in the tragedy that continues to unfold. Annie Bryan, back to you. All right, Morgan, Queen City News, the only local Charlotte TV station with a reporter on the ground in Pembroke, Georgia, for the estate sale. And you can follow Morgan's reports here on air at 5, 6, and 10 and watch the sale live on our website at qcnews.com.